Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we will discuss the problem A, B, and C of code forces global round 19. So the first problem is uh, it was not an easy one, but basically the problems of this contest are basically some tricky problems. Logic was very easy, but to think of that logic was something tricky and difficult. Right? In this problem, it is asking you that if uh, you will select a prefix array of some length len okay and then you will you have to solve that prefix and you have to solve the remaining suffix of array then is the remaining array is a salted or not salted so if it is not salted in that case we have to print yes means if there doesn't exist any alien when it is not if, if, when it is salted then we have to print no otherwise you have to print yes so a prefix array is equal to the prefix array of a salted string is all only possible when the string is already salted this was the logic of this problem अगर हमें इसकी प्रीफिक्स एरे सॉल्टेड रखनी है कि ये इसको सॉल्ट कर दें और इसको सॉल्ट कर दें तो वो हो जाए सो द एलिमेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एंड द एलिमेंट्स इन दिस शुड बी सेम एंड शुड बी सॉल्टेड सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू जस्ट चेक दैट इफ दिस एरे इज सॉल्टेड फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज अ सॉल्टेड एरे सो द आंसर इज नो यस सॉरी दिस इज अनसॉल्टेड द आंसर इज यस इफ द एरे इज सॉल्टेड द आंसर इज नो because in that case there will be no such alien so that the array will be not be sorted and because it is already sorted so for every value of alien there will be that will be sorted but if it is not sorted then there should be at least one value of alien such that it is not sorted and we will take that value of alien and we will print yes it was a easy problem so if we move towards the code of this problem that is also a uh, easy one okay and what i have done there is uh, i have just checked that if the particular given vector is equal to a sorted vector or not okay just a two line code so now let's move towards the problem b so problem b is a very tricky problem some confusing problem so we will understand it first of all so understanding the problem statement of this problem is also quite tricky so what it is given that you are given with the array first of all okay of some length obviously now what you have to do is you have to divide that array into some sub arrays don't confuse between these okay what you have to do is you have to divide that sub array into some arrays okay fine now what you have to do is that for each such partition for each such partition the cost of that partition will be c what is c how many sub arrays are there in that partition and the max of all the sub sub segments of that partition the sum of all the max of that sub segment okay such that you have to find the sum of values of all its subsequent you have to basically find the maximum sum of values of all its subsequent that was the thing which was correct afterward i think it was correct there was a uh, mistake in the printing mistake you have to find the maximum possible cost over all partitions okay fine so uh, what do you have you will do so first of all we have to think that how should we divide how should we what is the logic behind a partition of a array how should we how should we make parts divide that into sub arrays for example in this case this 201 array is divided into 2 and a 01 if we find this particular sub arrays means partitions then we can easily find that for this sub, sub array these are the partition and for this particular partition max is 0 for this partition max is 2 so the final answer is 2 because there are two sub arrays 2 plus max of this 0 plus max of this 2 is equal to 4. 
for others for other subarrays also for this subarray the possible partition is this answer is this and the other one what we are we basically find the how should we make the array subsequence so there is a very easy logic behind this so in this question what it is happening is that we are dividing this array of 2 0 1 into 2 and 0 1 so because there are two subarrays the cost of this particular partition is 2 plus the max of this is 0 plus the max of this is 2 the final cost is 4 if we also divide this 0 into 0 and 1 now think that what will happen in this case what will happen now we have three sub subsequent first second third So three plus max of this is zero plus max of this is one plus max of this is zero. Again, this is four. So if we divide this zero comma one to zero and one, then also the same max is the same cost is here. So we can just take subsequences of length one. Means if we have to divide. this particular array for example the array is 1 2 3 4 we have to just make it 1 2 3 4 because if we take 1 comma 2 so for 1 comma 2 also the max is 0 for 1 also the max is 0 for 2 also the max is 0 but if we are taking 1 comma 2 as a single a single subsequence then there are only three subsequence so the cost is 3 in in this case there are four subsequence So the cost is four. So always try to make the number of subsequence more. In that case, we have to take the each uh, element of the array as a single subsequence, as a single sub segment of the array or a sub array. This was the logic. Sorry, this was the logic. Okay. This is what also happening here also. So now what we have to do is first of all we will find the max of all the values so basically uh, what we have noticed that we have to divide a particular array into sub segments of size 1 so we have to we will find the max of all the subsequence so if we take the first test case only which is 2 0 and, and 1 sorry so we will divide it into 2 means for this part so how many sub uh, arrays are possible for this particular array these how many sub arrays are possible Like this. Uh, I think uh, it is one only. Yeah, these are all subarrays are possible for this particular uh, sequence. Fine. Now what we will do is we will simply find uh, we will simply convert this into this. This into this. This will be only two. This will be divided to zero comma two. It this can be zero one also, but why? According to us, we have divided into separate se se segments. Now what we will do is for this, the cost will be for two. The value of max is zero. For zero, the value of max is one. For one, the value is zero. So if the element is zero, then the max is one. In all other cases, the max is zero. For example, the for this max is zero. For this max is one. For this max is one. For this max, is one. otherwise the max is zero. For all the subarrays where the values are not zero, the max is zero. Where the value is zero, the max is one. Okay. Like this, we will find the sum of all the subsequent. So let's move towards the code part to understand how we are finding the sum, the total cost. So let's move towards the code part. What I have done is, you can see here. Yeah. First of all, I have uh, find the max of each and have uh, for each uh, uh, of for each index. If the number is equal to zero, then the max is one. Otherwise, the max is zero. And because we have to take the sub arrays, so we have to take some what is sub array? Sub array are continuous subsequence, continuous elements. So in that case, we can use the prefix sum matter, prefix sum logic in which we have I have find a prefix sum. 
of these max values and for each sub array what is the sub array sub array is basically from index i to j there is a there is a each sub array from index i to j so what is the cost of that particular sub array the cost is the number of elements in, in that sub array and a sub array which is starting from the index i and ending from to the index j the cost will be the sum of elements in that array which is j minus i plus 1 and the sum of max of the elements of that array for that i have used the w max array and then i have output it down this is what i have done okay i hope you understand if you have any doubt you, if you have any doubt you can join our telegram to ask your doubt or you can also comment it down right now let's move towards the uh, sorry first of all it will minimize it okay uh, the third problem which is the c1 okay and this problem uh, this was uh, quite confusing that i was attending in a second attempt only right? it was an easy one also uh, so what i done is that we are given with some piles of stone there are some n piles okay from one to n what you are do is you can choose three indices i j k okay now what you, do, you can do is that you that the number of stones in this j pile should be at least two means less uh, greater than or equal to now what you will do is you you will put one of that stone into pile i or one of the stone into pile k such that you have to move all the stones to the pile one or pile n means the extremes of that array there is a very uh, tricky logic behind this so let's discuss the logic for this problem so what we will do is what we will do is for example we have some array which is a1 and here it is an here it is a2 a3 a4 so we are, we will do we will not consider a1 and an because we are not worried about it we have to just make all these tiles to a1 or an there is a one key condition the key condition is that if let's say the ai the, well, the number of tiles in that uh, the number of piles in that uh, particular pile the number of uh, stones so if ai is less than 2 then we can't make operation so always ai should be greater than equal to 2 in case we have to do operations okay so for example we will not discuss this a1 and an index we will just discuss the index from 2 to n minus 1 okay i will discuss about this only for example our middle elements are for example middle elements are 1 2 2 3 so there is a one case the the case is that if there are only ones in the middle for example this is the array this 2 and 2 are the last and there are only one middle so all the middle piles have uh, have number of stones less than 2 so we can't apply operation in any one of the of the pile so the answer will be no we can't do it or there are only three piles for example 2 3 and 2 in that in this case also if we apply operation one time here it will become 2 1 2 and again we can't do an operation here so the answer is no so there are two cases for no if if in the middle or if the array of size of the array is 3 and the middle element is A odd number. Then the answer is no. On the in all the other cases, the answer is yes. Let's see how. So, for example, let's say this is a very basic condition. For example, our array is one, 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 three, one. Okay. So this is our array. Now we will not discuss the first and last element. We will discuss about only this five elements, which is one, one. One 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 three. Now what we can do is now what we can do is th this is the first element and this is the last pile. For example, there are some ones and there is a three. What we will do is what this three do is we will apply the first operation in this three. So we will make the first tile of this three to here. Now here one tile is increased and one tile to here. understand now this 3 becomes 1 and this 1 becomes 2 now also there is at least non one element non one is whose value is not not one there should be at least non one element 
in the middle uh, middle uh, array two such that the answer will be positive uh, possible if there are all the ones are there in this case the answer is no if there is at least one element which is not one then the answer is possible let's see how now we have two here now what this two will do this two will send one here and one here now this is one 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 this becomes two this two becomes zero and this one becomes two these are the first and last element. so what we are doing we are eliminating these ones we are eliminating these ones in the array and we are making these ones to twos now what it is it will happen is that this two will go here and uh, because it will not it can't give all the in the left it can give one in the left and one in the right so it will give one here so it will be one one okay two zero zero two like this now what it can do is okay this is like a slanting 45 degree angle so let me write in a horizontal plane this thing <laughs> So it is one one two zero zero two. Okay. Now what what it will do is we have made two zeros. Now this is the first and last element. Now what will happen is this two will give one here and one. Here. It is one two zero 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 two. Now again one here, one here. It will be two zero 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 two zero. Now there are two twos. This will give here and here. This will give here and here, such that all the middle tiles are zero, no tiles in the middle. So in that case, there is at least one non-one element. The answer is possible, and you have seen that how it is possible. So basically, what you have to do is that for all, if there is a non-one element, then what you have to do is that you have to just for each one element two operations are required why two operations are required the first operation to make it two that was being held by this one and the second operation to make this two to zero in the first operation we are making this one to two again this two to zero so to convert one to zero we require two operations and one of the two operations are coming from the that one is coming from the Past operation which we have done means this one means we are doing we are doing this operation on three, one here, one here. So this one is becoming two. Now this two is one is becoming two. Now this one is becoming two and this is becoming zero like this. इस तरीके से एक दूसरे पे सब depend कर रहा है. Okay. So what we have to find is we have to just find for all the non-one element we have to apply uh, the operations. For example, there are Some number of non-one element. We have to apply sum by two here, and in the case where uh, how many ones are there, for each one, one operation is required. Okay, like this. So I hope you understand it. इस तरीके से यहाँ पर ये हो रहा है. अगर वो code part पे चले, तो code भी बहुत है इसका neat and clean मैंने लिखा है दोबारा में क्योंकि मुझे logic कर पसंद नहीं आ गया था exactly. पहला कोड तो काफी ज्यादा खराब था वॉट आई डन इज आई जस्ट इफ एन इज थ्री देन इफ द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज ऑड इवन देन इट इज पॉसिबल इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड अदर केसेस आई जस्ट फाइंड द इफ द सम मींस इफ देयर आर ओनली वंस इन द मिडल एलिमेंट देन इट इज नो अदरवाइज आई हैव फाउंड द सम ऑफ द नॉन वन एलिमेंट्स व्हिच आर नॉट वन एंड द सम ऑफ द हाउ मेनी ऑड एलिमेंट्स आर देयर बिकॉज़ फॉर ईच ऑड एलिमेंट वी हैव टू डू टू ऑपरेशन For so for all the non-odd elements, I have done answer plus equal to sum by two, and for all the odd elements, I have again added one more step for each odd element and output an answer. This was a nice question. So I hope you get it. If you have any doubt, you can comment it down or you can join our Telegram. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. Just go to channel, join our Telegram. You can follow me on me. You can follow my Instagram. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. Thank you.